really sure what this video is. I was on my recommended page and this video popped up from this YouTuber I'm subscribed to called Nick Crowley. And the title of the video was The Disappearance of Elaine Cohen. Um, I don't know what this video is about and I don't want to, I don't want anything misinterpreted. So I'm not gonna assume anything. So we're just gonna hop into it and see what this is about. But original video link will be down in the description if you wanna check it out. Let's get into the video. Do not attempt to track down or harass any individuals mentioned within this video. This video explores a situation with little information to go off of and includes moments of speculation. Not everything has been proven and may never be. Do not take this as, as fully certain or factual. This is creepy. Elena Cohen is a singer-songwriter here on YouTube who began posting her music to the site in 2010. Having been just a teenager at the time, the young singer had come to the site to share her music with the world in the hopes of someday making it big. But as we know by now, the internet can rear its ugly head at any moment as there is darkness in all of its corners. And for Elena, this darkness would come in the form of online stalking and harassment that would all come to a head in 2014 when the singer would seemingly drop off the face of the earth. This is the disappearance of Elena Cohen. The creation of social media has made it easier than ever to broadcast your talents throughout the world. And in the early days of YouTube, a large number of its posters consisted of singers attempting to gain recognition and eventually making it in the industry. And this is actually something that happened more than you'd think. And he is now the number one most subscribed to musician in Canada on YouTube. YouTube's ability to create full-blown stars practically they overnight really did create lured in Bieber. aspiring musicians with dreams of doing the same, with Elena Cohen being one of them. Her channel would launch all the way back in August 25th of 2006 under the name Elena XX, where she would start posting consistently in 2010. And like many of those stars who had caught their break on YouTube, Elena too had the voice to make it big. Yo, she can sing. Her she voice is both that. unique and breathtaking, as very quickly viewers would find her channel, having been blown away by her voice. How have and I never in just heard a few her? short years, her subscriber count would reach 10,000, a mark that was especially impressive back then. With her newfound internet fandom, a growing catalog of impressive covers, and even some original songs, Elena was really hitting her stride as 2011 came to an end, leaving her fans to wholeheartedly believe that her big break would be coming soon. However, sadly, it never would. Instead, as that year would come to an end, so did seemingly her drive for making these videos, as she would phase herself off the site over the course of the next few years, having only posted three videos between the end of 2011 and the end of 2014, before abandoning the channel altogether. She would then take things a step further, as she would private all of her videos but one, only to then delete all other traces of herself across all social media sites. And she didn't stop there, as it appears that she has also essentially scrubbed herself from the internet, leaving behind no trail as to where she went. How do you put yourself out there on the internet and then just completely ghost it like that? Like, I don't know how people can just take themselves off the internet and just never be known of again. Like, that's insane to me. Went, or where she could be today. Not only had she left the internet, but she practically made herself a ghost in the online world. And all of this was done much to the dismay of her loyal fans. For years, the singer had been an extremely active social media user, constantly filling in her fans as to what she was up to. And this, coupled with the fact that her channel was booming at the time, and that she seemed so close to obtaining her dream of being a singer, made her disappearance all the more concerning. As with her being essentially off the grid, she had removed any chance of her ever becoming discovered. Having been left in the dark and without a real sense of closure, 
All her fans could do was speculate in the comments of her only remaining video as to what may have happened to the singer. And it was within these comments where we truly enter this rabbit hole. Okay. A year removed from privating all of her videos, a comment would appear by a user claiming to know what had happened to Elena. The man would write, the account is being managed. Elena is not alive anymore. I think she would want us all to be of one mind that a part of her was never truly alive. Never will what? another like you be walking among us, Elena. The cryptic nature of this post so makes weird. it both disturbing yet easy to look over as it seems like your typical crazy comment here on YouTube. Yeah. But surprisingly, this obscure statement would prove to be our first clue as to why Elena had vanished from the internet. As when you search up this username, you're greeted with the fact that the owner of this account had an obsession, an obsession with Elena. The mysterious person had gone by the username eThunder, which when plugged into Google revealed hundreds of threads made on multiple forums across the web. The posts were all fairly incoherent, but they all shared one common theme, Elena. The man would make post after post in regards to the singer, who in the grand scheme of things was practically unknown at the time. And these posts would range from just general promotion and fandom for Elena, all the way to deep-rooted music industry conspiracy theories, in which Elena was supposedly part of. And making things even darker, after doing some digging, I discovered that this man actually has multiple other accounts, labeled under different usernames, where he posts even more Elena-related content. So far, I found at least five other names that he's been using, which has pushed his total number of posts far past just a few hundred, and instead into the thousands, with all of them being about the then-teenaged singer. The man was and is clearly obsessed and certainly disturbed, but after taking the time to decipher any real meaning from the things he was saying online, there is ultimately a story to be told here that paints this random YouTube commenter as the likely reason so behind where do we go such from a promising here? singer's disappearance. What happens after this comment? By 2011, Elena's channel had been growing steadily, with that year in particular being the best she had had so far. She was gaining momentum by the day, all the way up until December, when she would randomly take a year-long break from posting on her channel, all the while it's doing so without any indication as to why. But looking through the online posts of E Thunder may provide an explanation. In a Reddit post made in this shit is so interesting. I'm sorry e if I'm not talking a lot. I trained for several years to mix and produce music before attempting to enter the industry. While contacting artists to possibly contribute and collaborate with, I came across Elena Cohen, YouTube account Elena XX. She built her following up over a four and a half year period. I promoted her for free via Facebook and increased her following by five or six fold from February through December 2011. Top industry players were brought in, Katy Perry and Taylor Swift, the most public and involved that I'm currently aware of. It's a bizarre claim, and one that he has reiterated multiple times across numerous sites, also adding, Is it true, though? promoted an unknown artist, Elena Cohen, via Facebook in 2011. I was very successful in bringing in key top-notch players of the industry. In his own words, this man believed that the success Elena had found on YouTube was thanks to his Facebook posts that he had made about the singer, further claiming that the superstar singers had reached out to Elena, all because of his posts. But though this is something that he adamantly claims, it's a statement that simply isn't true, as his Facebook page only has 51 followers, and his posts wow. only receive an average of 1 to 2 likes. Wow, Plus, this there is big no lines to suggest that any famous singers even knew who Elena was. And instead, it seems to be a story that was completely made up, but not in the mind of this man. He believed it fully. And because of this, he felt entitled to know Elena crazy. personally and to be part of her life. As in his mind, she was only successful because of him. And not only this, but he also viewed himself as her producer and her agent, despite Elena having never actually interacted with a fan publicly. And further following this idea, it's easy to disprove that this man is actually a professional music producer. I know this should have started off really slow. Listening through his catalog doesn't exactly wield impressive results. But I feel like it's gonna pick up. 
But either way, in his mind, what he was saying was true, and this produced a sense of bitterness and entitlement within the man. Bitterness that would lead to him posting even more about Elena, something that would really ramp up in December of 2011. Which, ironically, happened to be the time that Elena would step away from YouTube for nearly a year. So this obsessed fan spins these delusions online, obsessing over this teenage girl, and right at the peak of his posting, she leaves. It's an interesting correlation to say the least, and one that gets even darker. One note that E Thunder mentions briefly throughout his postings is that he knew where Elena was living during the summer of 2011. He said that he knew she was living in Tucson, even insinuating that this? he had attempted to see her as he claims to have lived there during this time. And as a side note, I've never seen any mention of her having lived in Tucson, even within the comments left around that time period, and I found no evidence that she had ever made that information public, making one wonder how this man had known this information in the first place. This serves as our first indication that this online obsession may have spilled over to the real world, as the words he's saying and the scenes he's describing line up with what you'd expect from a real-life stalker. Whatever the case may be, he began truly harassing her, and she left the site not long after, only to make her return nearly a year later, in August of 2012, with her brand new song, Epicenter. Fans were thrilled to see we the beloved singer it. return Why? from such a spontaneous break, and many believed that she would likely be back for good, as she had clearly been working on new music while she was away. But oddly enough, just as the singer would return to post this song, she would yet again disappear, going off the grid this time for nearly two years. Knowing her first break Why seems you to have some correlation to right, the fan like known peak, as e like, It's not hard to wonder up, if stop. this second break also had something to do with the man, and digging through his posts does reveal some alarming clues. Buried in paragraphs of rambling, E Thunder would bizarrely make a claim that he viewed Elena's song Epicenter as being written specifically for him, saying, The content and circumstances surrounding Epicenter could be considered as something I was supposed to react to. Again, there is no evidence to suggest this whatsoever, the way this but man in his mind, this weird. was a call to action, which most likely led to him ramping up his harassment of Elena even more, something that seemingly had already driven her off the internet once already. But the situation doesn't end there, as he would then mention that he was incarcerated in 2012, two months following the song's release, due to a situation involving Elena. He would say, I sent Elena a project file and was arrested a few days after in 2012. So if he was arrested, I initially told her not to sign any And then she came back later on. What the fuck happened if she was in jail? I was incarcerated to this situation. I told an unknown artist not to sign any label contracts. When she was going into the studio, I was arrested three days later. The idea that this stalker had been arrested for a situation relating to Elena is clearly concerning and points to something having happened in 2012. And when he says he was arrested for simply sending Elena a project file, my mind immediately goes to one place, that E Thunder had violated some type of restraining order. We already know that his harassment of Elena had hit its peak in late 2011 and continued throughout the year, something that caused Elena to go into hiding online. So it's possible that this time she had gotten some type of restraining order against him, as something as simple as sending a project file wouldn't likely lead to his arrest, unless it violated some type of rules of his restraining order. However, it's also possible that a situation much more twisted led to his arrest, as he would go on to explain that he was also charged with carrying a knife that had a blade of over 3.5 inches, and in the arrest, he was supposedly caught carrying it on UCSB campus in San Diego. Because of this, it's been speculated that so Elena had Diego? either been attending the university or was simply in the area at the time, and what? Ethander had attempted to meet up with her, this leading to his subsequent crazy. arrest. And given that he was carrying such a large weapon on him, one would question what his intentions were. 
This may further be insinuated by saying he was arrested right after she had went into the studio, something that he likely wouldn't have known unless he was actively I swear if I leave this her. video with more and though questions at this point, than it answers, hasn't been I'm going to be upset. The obsessive poster would go the following two years without making a single post, lending credence to the idea that he was in fact arrested. Whatever it was that really happened between the two is impossible to know at the moment, though we can insinuate that something truly dark had happened, with E Thunder clearly having been the aggressor. And this was all seemingly confirmed by Elena's next move. Days after the man's supposed arrest, Elena would take to her Facebook to announce that she would be going on a trip, a trip all the way to Africa, letting her fans Africa. know that she was going off the grid for a while. This was a trip that came out of nowhere and was left extremely vague as she hmm? never said where specifically oh, she, she was going or why she was going there in the first place. And given the stalking situation she was dealing with at the time, one would wonder if she was simply trying to throw this man off her trail. But with E Thunder supposedly in prison and Elena off the grid completely, the channel would go into a state of dormancy for nearly two years before okay. Elena would finally return with a new cover and a brand new original song in the year 2014. So she However, when she made back. her return, <sighs> so did E Thunder. According to his timeline, he had been incarcerated for 18 months due to the situation with Elena and his time in prison clearly proved to be ineffective at reforming his behavior, as when he came back out, he was more adamant than ever about harassing Elena, as he put the blame on her for putting him in prison. He spouted off wild theories at a rate far greater than he had ever done before, and immediately upon his return to the web, Elena would, for the final time, disappear from her channel, this time removing all videos but one and cleaning the internet so of any weird. trace she had ever left behind, with this channel seemingly being the only evidence that she had ever even existed. Leading many to wonder if Elena Cohen was just a surname, or if she'd even changed her name legally, as like I said, she's practically untraceable online, something that is just too hard to do in today's society leading us all to wonder what happened to her. And in my opinion, this was exactly what she wanted. The overlap between the timeline of her channel, along with the posting of E Thunder, seems too much of a coincidence for it to not be at least somewhat connected. And I think E Thunder's harassment and the event that transpired in 2012 that led to his arrest, coupled with his release and the lack of changes in his behavior, seemingly proved to be enough to push her off the internet for good and essentially go into hiding. Something that E Thunder hasn't taken kindly to, as in the following years, we would see him further fall off the deep end, as he's since made claims that Elena is now dead or working with the Illuminati behind the scenes. At one point, he even requested a welfare check on her, stating, I first request this individual to be located and deemed safe and alive. I request that she is notified. I am interested in having a discussion with her about this situation and that appropriate authorities yeah, nah, ensure I don't talk to you. that she does. If no. communication with me does not happen, I believe she will likely be a co-conspirator in at least some of this and should be considered a strong suspect. No, this is obviously quite a frightening post. It's at least comforting to know that he also didn't know where Elena had gone. Right? The man has since gone on to press charges against his own mother for her supposed role in his arrest, and even at one point believed that the singer Lord had written a song about him, a song that he deemed as threatening to his life. Yo, I need to, to file look this a shit up. $100 million dollar lawsuit against her, which this man was sounds actually insane. submitted to the courts and is on record to this day, providing further proof that this was never some kind of ARG, though clearly none of these charges went anywhere. And at the end of the day, we are left with merely a few pieces of an otherwise huge puzzle that is yet to be completed and truthfully, it may never be. As without Elena, this story will never fully be told. But in good news, it is apparent that Elena is alive, at least as of last year, as she has sporadically made some of her music live again on her channel, making okay. me wonder if maybe her situation has changed, as after all, E Thunder has gone practically silent as of late, potentially pointing to the idea that he is in prison yet again, or maybe that he finally got the help he needed. As I'm sure I many have caught on, that. that it's pretty apparent that he does have some type of mental illness. Something yes. that I don't want to speculate yes, on too does. much. But for that reason, I am using an alias for his username. 
just to avoid any harassment. Not only for his sake, but for Elena's as well, as I would ask you guys to please not make contact with him, as he could be dangerous to you or even Elena. But rather than direct our hate towards her stalker, I think instead we should send our support to Elena and let her know that she does have a support system here on YouTube and that we have her back if she ever decides to make her return. But honestly, that day may never come and it's very likely that we'll never know what actually happened to her as who would blame her for not wanting to come back. Plus, who knows, maybe she left the internet for a totally different reason and this is all just one big coincidence. Regardless, for the time being, the disappearance of Elena Cohen will remain as one of YouTube's many mysteries. Nick Crowley's commentating voice is a fucking one. I'm here for it. I was in it the whole time. Y'all see, I was locked in. I wasn't fucking talking much, but I'm glad. I thought I was going to leave, like I said, with more questions than answers, but she's still alive because she made her post live last year. So that means she's still active and still kicking. So that's good. Homie hasn't been active for years. So that means he's probably in jail. I doubt he got the help he needs because he sounded like actually insane. But hey, if he did get help, that's that's great on him. Uh, but holy shit, I was not expecting it to be as interesting as it was. I hope y'all found it interesting, too. If y'all want to do y'all research and if y'all find out more shit, let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna probably do my own research and see what uh what else i can find about this but if you enjoyed the reaction let me know down in the comments like comment subscribe and i'll see y'all next one i love y'all peace do what you want if you got the money just pray your niggas remain ten toes down do all the shit do all the hits do all the misses do all the differences we all different only god knows he's omniscient nigga i know i'm the shit so i don't let a fuck nigga catch me slipping